It's been a beautiful day out there. We got temperatures right now into the 70s through the Snake River Plain, but we're going to cool it off down into the 40s and 30s tonight. Pick it right back up into the 70s again for tomorrow with numbers well above the seasonal norms, but we're not breaking any temperature records. We're getting close in some places, but we have to really get into those 80s to start smashing some of those temp records. 77 degrees or 71 degrees right now in Idaho Falls. We've got wind to the north at five miles an hour, and we're expected to see the light winds continue for tonight with the temperatures, like I mentioned, sliding back down into the 30s and 40s. 72 at the Pocatello Farm Bureau Sky Cam with winds of the northeast at six miles an hour over into Rexburg. Beautiful sunset here tonight with a clear sky, 71 degrees, no wind at the Rexburg Airport. And then going into the mountains, it's been a great day in central Idaho. Beautiful sunny weather today in Salmon. We're currently sitting with 72 degrees there at the Lemhi County Airport. And then moving over into Jackson, we got 65 degrees right now. We out of the northwest at seven miles an hour. So what can we expect here as we move forward? You're going to see temperatures continuing to climb. We're going to be holding steady into the 70s and in some places approaching 80 degrees. And you'll notice here on Viper, it's a very dry outlook currently. We got nothing really happening in our corner of the world. We got dry conditions also across Montana, Wyoming, and most of Utah. Utah's getting a few thunderstorms here, extreme southeastern part of Utah, but more of the thunderstorm activity closer to the Rockies there across Denver and Colorado Springs, further south into Albuquerque. Here is the bridge of high pressure that's continuing to move move in that warmer weather. We get a few clouds riding around that ridge of high pressure and we'll get some clouds occasionally drifting through the region, but it's generally going to be a dry forecast as that jet stream continues to strengthen into Wednesday and Thursday, moving the jet well up into British Columbia and we'll see Thursday even warmer conditions here as we get into Thursday and Friday. Highs at 75 to 80 degrees, light wind, some sunshine, and it's going to be just dry all the way through the weekend. In fact, I want to show you in the next six to 10 days. So uh, we're talking uh, close to the end of the eight day forecast and leading into next week. We got above average highs still with us here. That means temperatures well into the 70s for our region as we head through this weekend and next week. We do expect to see the temperatures come down a little bit and you'll see that in the eight day. But still, we're also dealing with below average precipitation chances, which means it's still going to be rather dry for our region as we head through the next six to 10 days. Not really looking at any changes in the immediate forecast here. I mean, it's the Viper cast just ticking by here and it's going to stay dry. It's going to stay sunny with showers and thunderstorms still continuing to threaten Arizona, New Mexico and parts of Colorado. That ridge of high pressure blocking all those showers. Now, as we go through tomorrow, we'll have temperatures in the lower 70s for Idaho Falls. A normal high would be about 66 degrees. Elsewhere, we got highs uh, getting into the 70s with light winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. In fact, here's the wind model. Not much happening there as well. And uh, we have light winds expected for tomorrow afternoon. 75 for Preston, 70 for Lava Hot Springs, 71 in Soda Springs with highs in Jackson at 71. 70 for St. Anthony and 69 in Island Park. 72 in Dubois. 77 for Salmon, mid 70s in Chouse, lower 70s for Mackey and Arco with highs in the Snake River Plain. At 77 for Pocatello, we got 75 in Blackfoot, low 70s for Rigby and Idaho Falls. Eight day forecasts coming at you with Jackson. We'll see temperatures staying pretty consistent here in the upper 60s, lower 70s under mostly sunny skies. A few storm clouds will try to get in there for the middle part of next week. But at this point, it's a low risk of showers. Salmon, 77 for the high tomorrow, 76 for Thursday. And we're into the mid 70s for Friday and Saturday with plenty of sunshine. Moving over into the Blackfoot area with highs at 75 for tomorrow and Thursday. Staying sunny all the way into the weekend with numbers into the mid to lower 70s, but this both Saturday and Sunday, lows falling back into the upper 30s. Rexburg, 74 for the high tomorrow, 76 for Thursday. Lower 70s for this weekend with partly cloudy skies on Friday and Saturday. And Lows falling back into the 30s. For Pocatello and Idaho Falls, more of the same here. Sunny and warm weather for this time of the year. Temperatures above average with highs approaching 80 for Pocatello, especially getting into Thursday with a high of 78. And we'll be into the mid 70s for Idaho Falls this Thursday with the mid to lower 70s swinging through for this Saturday and Sunday. Eric. All right, thanks, Michael. Coming up at sports following a week full of change. The boys